Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a 3D print for our fish tank. Alright, we decided we were going to print a castle to put in our son's fish tank. And we wanted it to look super cool, so we ended up finding uh, some PLA filament that's dual colored. If you get up close on that, you can actually see it is half and half split down the middle. This particular one is black and purple. There's a few different kinds. Uh, we decided to get a black and purple and a black and mint green. Uh, we liked the way that they looked in the pictures and so we picked those up. Uh, one of the things uh, as researching those different colored ones is that you can move it around on the print bed to kind of get the split of the color in different places. You can print these discs that kind of show how it's going to look. Each individual one of these lines is 15 degrees. So you can print this out and then see if you want to adjust your print from side to side to get it exactly where you want it. Uh, we did one for each color. There's a good angle on seeing what they look like in rotation. Uh, after printing both of these, we actually liked the way they were straight, so we didn't need to adjust it at all in Cura. The other cool thing that I'm going to use today is that we are going to use tree supports instead of regular supports. It's just a setting that you change in your slicer. Uh, it ended up using way, way less filament uh, than it would be before and saved a bunch of time on the prints. All right, all finished on the first piece. It looks awesome. You can see black to purple and kind of the mix in between. Uh, these, this tree support's super cool. Let's get this off. It came off great. Here's the bottom. Let's see how these supports come. Most of it. Certainly going to need some cleanup, some finer, maybe some tweezers to get in there. It's hard for me to get my fingers in there. It's a little small, but looks awesome. Need to do some cleanup and we'll check out what they look like when we keep going. Just wanted to show a little bit closer on these trees when it's not the big full piece so they can actually do just little individual ones and like it it goes into the windows and then up under anything it needs to support. It's really neat how it goes around everything. And from the looks of it, um, on the time-wise, it saves saved me like an hour uh, just to make this right here. It saved an hour to use uh, tree support as opposed to the normal support and this is barely anything this is super soft it's all hollow it's really cool so check out the trees for your support uh, it'll probably save you some time and it ends up crazy clean and easy cleanup got a few more pieces to to make and then we'll show you what it's like in the end ended up uh getting everything printed now uh we did a few things together and some things separate pending on testing and everything and then so 
most of this the bottom whole part of it is going to be the black and purple and then the top half we actually did in the mint green and purple this looks really cool when lights on it it kind of makes it shift from colors from side to side and we think it'll look really neat underwater however we've run into a problem that we need to fix and here's the problem it all floats so we got to figure out how to make it not float my thought is that we are going to drill holes into it so that we can uh, get water in enough of this that it'll hold it down underwater so we're going to try that first and see how that works out now inside here i did this one in triangles so it might need more than one hole to actually fully be able to flood the inside of it but i don't want to um, lose too much of the structure so that it won't stand up at least underwater it's not going to move at all so once we get it down there it should be fun i'm just going to drill a couple of holes and see what it does underwater all right a few holes in it now let's see if it will fill it all I do see air bubbles coming out. Looks like this is definitely working. Just need a few more holes to get all the cavities inside filled up. All right, so we were trying to avoid printing the base and hoping that these would flood and hold down. I think they're flooded really well, but it's still plastic and plastic can float. So, you know, we're gonna print the base. Um, we'll glue it to the base. We'll put it in the water and uh, put some rocks on the base so that it'll hold it down. But I'm gonna continue flooding these so that we get them as close as we can. All right, we had test printed this beforehand. It's a little bit smaller than this, but it does cover enough that we're gonna go ahead and use it. Everything else, you know, so it doesn't fully cover, but with rocks on here, it's gonna hold it down. So we're gonna just use that. We're gonna glue it down. Uh, CA glue and activator. Make sure if you do this and are putting it underwater with fish, uh, give it time to cure and air out so that uh, you don't kill your fish. So, I'm going to put glue on this side, activate this side, put it together. Here we go. Using CA, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. It stinks. Activator especially stinks. All right. There we go. Now we let it cure, dry, air out for sure. We'll uh, give it a cleaning first and then we'll come back and put it in the tank. All right, it's been a few days, so uh, this is aired out. I've washed it really good and we're ready to put it in the fish tank.
All right, so we got it in. It was a little lower than we wanted, so uh, we printed a couple blocks and put it on that. So it's sitting uh, at the gravel level. The fish love it. Uh, they're always in it. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.